Before we can make a program to run in new tools, we must have the tools created and saved in AlphaCam's tool library. We must have styles made to use the tools, and we'll also want to have a piece of scrap material with a straight flat edge to run the tools in. We'll need the measurements of this piece of material so that we can draw it in AlphaCam. And that's how I'll start drawing the piece of material with its measurements as a rectangle in AlphaCam. Mine is 25 and 3 quarter by 21 and 3 quarter. Then I'll insert my table template and I'll move my part in a little easier to get to location right over here by the controller. We'll always run the tools on the left edge so that they go away from us when they're cutting. So I'm going to offset the left edge by a value of 3 sixteenths, the amount that I usually remove with my Z wheel. So I'll offset this line as geometry to the right or inside. I want to extend this line past the back edge to ensure the tool will clear, and more importantly, past the front edge so I have time to stop the tool to check it when I'm running the program. So I'll choose Extend by Distance from the Edit tab, and I'll extend the front by 6 inches and the back by 3 inches. Next, we'll change our rectangle to Material by going to the 3D tab, choosing Set Material, selecting our part, and then I'm going to use 1.2 for 3CM. I have Delete Original Geometry selected, so I'll click OK and Finish. Place your pods as you normally would so your material is fully supported. And as always, make sure the pods are spaced in enough from the edge, especially the edge where the tools will be running. And then, like normal, delete all the extra pods. Now we can add tool direction to our line. We'll be cutting along this left side, so when we choose tool direction, we'll be selecting left, reverse, and no as normal. And then we'll ensure the arrow goes along the left side and away from us. Now with our geometry all prepared, I'm going to apply tool paths or a style which I've already created. In this example, I'm adding in another T30 profile tool with a smaller 1.625 radius that I can use both on the outside and inside some of my larger sinks. I'll be using the outside style because it has more gradual 45 degree lead in and lead outs. I'd like to also point out that this style uses the Z wheel 1 and the gauge wheel that I've already tested and ran in other styles. So I won't have to test or adjust them at all. I'll just apply this style to my geometry as normal. There's a couple things that I might want to look at in the operations panel. If this new set of tools is high speed tooling, I may want to look at the feed rates for especially position two and three. These tools can run very fast so I may want to adjust them and slow them down so I have more reaction time to stop them out of the machine. Adjusting them here in the operations will only affect this program. I'm also going to delete the gauge wheel to save a little time out of the machine. It's already been used and proven in other styles. I only need to test and adjust these six tools which are new and haven't been run before. And just like any other program, I'll save it and then send the G-code to the machine. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.